Welcome to Flat Earth United. I'm your host, Nathan Oakley, and if you are new to this channel or you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. If you would like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside the show while it is live. On Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 27th, 28th and 29th of April 2018, we will see the first Flat Earth UK convention. Joining me this morning is the organiser and co-organiser of the show, Gary, John and Dee Dee. How are you both doing? Welcome to the show. Hi, Nathan. Hi, yeah, we're good, thank <laughs> you. Good to have you both here. So, long time no see. Tell us all about the UK convention. I'm going to tell the audience straight away where it is. So it's going to be at Jury's in Birmingham, as I say, on the 27th, 28th and 29th of April. So how are the organisation going for the event? Hectic. Busy. <laughs> <laughs> lots, lots happening. We, we, we are now down to 98 days. And uh, Dean and I, uh, Dee Dee come over from Belgium on Thursday. I picked her up late uh, from the airport to come to the hotel so we can be fresh for loads of meetings yesterday, including Martin. Uh, I don't know if you know that uh, Martin Leakey came up and a few other people um, in the Flat Earth movement uh, as well. Um, so that's really good. And we had lots and lots of meetings with the, uh, the live streaming people and the hotel. And we've had some brainstorming and obviously we had the people turn up yesterday as well to help. And uh, Dorja Darker turned up to help and did some filming. And he's going to do some promotion videos in the next week. Uh, a little bit about the program, a little bit about us, what we're about. And it was really good. Excellent stuff. So I might as well straight, say straight away to the audience, the tickets are on sale now. There is a link in the info box. So buy a ticket immediately. But tell us about what you can actually get, what are the days, what's available, things like that. So we have uh, day tickets for Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, or we have a combination of days. So we have a weekend ticket, which is a Saturday and a Sunday, or we have a combi ticket, which is a Friday up until the Sunday. And prices vary from 20 pounds for the webinar to 128 for the combi ticket and everything in between. So it's uh, something for everybody. Right, so for 20 quid sort of entry level, you can definitely watch what's going on at the conference from the, you call it a webinar on the web page, I think. Is that right, webinar? It's live streaming, yeah. Live streaming, yeah, in essence, yeah. I mean, obviously, you've got a, a little bit of um, support from the guys who did the uh, organisation for the convention over in the States, but this is going to be a totally different ball game. And I want to know, I want to know because you've been teasing me for the last few days about something really exciting. And I, I can't yeah. contain myself. I'm really excited about the convention, but I want you to tell me <laughs> okay, about um, what you've kept me hanging on about. So tell us what you've been well, uh, keeping back. <laughs> okay, we'll go straight into the really big news because okay. that way we, we can work around it then. Um, over the last three or four weeks, I've been desperately trying to get this thing that we've now got organised. Um, we are actually going to have at the on the Sunday. Well, at this moment, we we believe that the actual debate, uh, the actual uh, program is going to work around Sunday morning. Is that we've got some physicists who are going to turn up to debate our speakers. Oh, so there's actually going to be a debate at the convention. Wow, that's fantastic. But there was already going to be a debate between the speakers, you know, flat Earth speakers, and obviously we we're working around when that's going to fit in. But we've now moved on to all oh, as well as you know in addition uh we've got um some a uh, couple that are um phd uh level um sorry amy's for their, towards their phd their post grad and there's an, another person who has actually got his phd and he's um going for his upper doctorate and he's a cyber geneticist and i'm really glad i said that right because <laughs> i've said it a few times yesterday and it got, <coughs> I got it totally wrong so yes yeah, so we've got um we're, we're also trying to see if we can get a geologist and we've spoken to the speakers and they're dead excited about the opportunity and whatever we end up with nathan it's going to be better than just literally doing it in-house because we're actually going to the establishment and saying this is what we're about this is what we're, we're, we've got queries with please tell us your model and we can in you know do, be bustles i suppose and and see where it goes and we're going to allow uh, we're aiming at this moment to allow for the whole Sunday morning, which is 10 till half 12 lunchtime. Um, and we also want to open up to the audience to also ask questions as well. We don't want it just to stick stick to the speakers and the, the physicists. We also want the audience to um, to have a chance to, if they want to buzz in with a question. There's obviously going to be opportunities for people who join the convention to uh, 
do a bit of Q&A with the people that are there, but also might to get to see some live debating action with anti-flat earthers as well. Marvellous. Yeah. Right up my street. So, can, can I, so what do you think of that news? I think it's excellent. I mean, I think it's really good to, to hear both sides of the argument. Obviously, I've been running a debate show for the last few months. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's an absolutely excellent idea. It's always good to hear both sides of the coin. Um, but obviously, for, for the people that, that may not know generally what's going to take place at the convention, maybe you can give us an outline of what, what a day would be like if you were to go to the convention. Thank you. Well, we have uh, different things we want to touch on. So there will be presentation by the speakers with the Q&A following, so people can ask questions. We will have an open an open mic session. We will discuss some coming experiments. We will have uh, workshops. We're going to try and do some small workshops. Then we have the speakers debate. And of course, we're going to have the experts debate uh, on the Sunday morning, hopefully. So it's a bit of everything, not just uh, presentations. How have you been getting on with the uh, the workshops? They all organised and put to bed now. Well, we are still open for suggestions. So if people feel like that, for example, our idea was to sh to show a lot of practical stuff. So if we can get, for example, a gyroscope or something, we can touch and and people to see. So if if people have anything to help us with, uh, it would be great to contact us. But we are speaking to all our speakers and and many more people to set up small workshops. I think I put John in touch with John Savage, so I was lucky enough to get chatting with um, John after, I think it was the TFR interview we did for the QED, obviously, and observably flat, so got chatting with him for the first time, it's like, ah, I know a guy who knows a lot about gyroscopes, so I've passed on his contact info to John, hopefully he'll be there, you never know your luck, but uh, yeah, so hopefully you'll yeah. be in touch with him. Yeah, in addition though, Nathan, to add to that, we also like, for instance, if you've got like Dave Marsh there, he's you know, very knowledgeable on, say, the P900 camera, some people would have a P900 and maybe get an X amount of benefit from it, but to have, again, like Didi was saying, it's having this hands-on, and and it's not just that, it's also talking about uh, showing magnetism and gravity and the lack of gravity, and it's just literally, we're trying to, and this is also open to the audience as well, that if a person's got a particular <coughs> a, a particular thing that they're really good at, and it can be connected in one way or another loosely to flat Earth, then we would like to obviously um, work with them, and maybe they, you know, if they're there on the Sunday, they could actually form part of the workshop program because we don't have all the answers but we have the ideas that we would like to see because um, we just want to be very proactive we want to actually get to the point that people walk away from that and they haven't just listened to the to the speaker that's the equivalent of watching YouTube this is actually hands-on it's actually the debate it's the debate it's the questions and answers it's actually uh, open up the uh, the uh, open mic session so people got a chance to speak when they don't normally have a chance to speak so there's a lot there uh, for everyone and just one thing i want to add is where we were thinking on the saturday evening that we were going to go for uh, a look at the sing song and, and a little bit of um, you know, a little bit of comedy for martin and a few other things that we thought would be a nice addition we're actually getting to the point that the program is getting really really busy that we we have to drop that now and and, and extend the, the program on the saturday so the only one who buys a saturday ticket is getting a fantastic bargain they really are because it, it's going to be the whole day and it could be about 12 hours with breaks obviously Hopefully, uh, with a bit of luck, I'll be there with uh, Anthony and Shane. We shall see. Hopefully, they'll. We would love to be there. Hopefully, yeah, we hopefully. really would. And I think what you guys have done is incredible. Yeah. And we want, you know, if it can work out, we'd like you to be involved with the um, with the one of the days because I think it's powerful. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to run through a, a couple of links just because the show is running live. So if you've just joined us, we are joined by Gary, John and Dee Dee, who are the organisers of the Flat Earth Convention 2018. And the Flat Earth Convention 2018 will play, take place at the Juries Inn in Birmingham, England on the 27th, 28th and 29th, that's Friday, Saturday and Sunday, April 2018. There is a link in the info box below this video, so click that link and get yourself a ticket. At the very least, get yourself a pass to the webinar so you can see the action unfold on the 27th, 28th and 29th of April 2018. So can you tell us guys, who's actually gonna be there? Who's gonna be in attendance? Who will the people get to see and chat to? Yeah, <laughs> so for the speakers, we have Darren Nesbitt, Dave Marsh, Dave Murphy, we have Gary, we have Iru Landucci, we have Martin Kenny, Martin Ditke, Mike Kavanaugh, and Sean Connors. Wow, so, that's an amazing lineup. That, uh, more people to, and then of course the, the physicists we're going to invite, there's going to be a couple of them as well, but we're not going to send out the names yet. 
and then we hope that uh, that you or others will join us for for a day or or a weekend hopefully sure can you run through the website address so people can find it and say there is a link in the info box but just in case somebody's watching this on a, a re-up or a podcast or whatever if you can go through the website address just so yeah. people know exactly where to buy a ticket okay we had fun with this yesterday we were doing, <laughs> we, were doing, we were doing an interview with Dorje Darko and we were actually we were getting ourselves like tongue-tied and getting confused oh no it's flatearthconventionuk.co.uk uh, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't yesterday so <laughs> So www.flatearthconvention.co.uk. No, uk.co. Oh, sorry. UK. I'll say that one more time. www.flatearthconventionuk.co.uk. Perfect. Got it in at least once. It's perfectly. A bit, a bit of a mouthful. It's a bit much. <laughs> bit of a mouthful, but click on the link in the info box if you did want to buy a ticket. So, how are the ticket sales going? How many people can attend in total? how many can attend uh including the speakers and the core team we're looking at 275 that's a limit that's been put on us by the hotel and um yeah so 275 is the maximum so in reality you're looking at around about 260 tickets um, are available but then obviously there's going to be some people in support that are doing a lot of work beyond the scenes so in the, in, a, in reality it's probably about 255. and for all the people who have bought a ticket or are intending to buy a ticket it's going to be a a mad day or if you're there the whole weekend, obviously a mad weekend, but it's going to be fun packed and crazy. It's not like you're going to have much time to sort of sit on your anchors doing nothing, sipping tea. There's going to be things happening the entire time, lots of things to do, lots of people to talk to. And of course, there's going to be a, a very social element to going there because there's going to be other people that obviously aren't speakers, but are flat earthers that you won't necessarily get to just meet in your day to day lives. So it's going to be a fantastic event for all. I'm really excited. I can't wait to meet people and actually shake people's yeah, hands. And stuff we were like that. sitting in a bar yesterday with like eight or nine people and we were thinking, imagine in a couple of months, there will be 200 of us sitting in this bar taking everything over. It's going to be amazing. It's the same in America. It was amazing to just hang out with everybody and get to know everybody. And we are looking forward to it. Definitely. I mean, I heard some of the stories from the American um, convention and you hear stories about sort of at the bar while there's a few speakers just talking amongst themselves and obviously they're talking about flat earth and there's people in the background picking up on it and hearing these stories and basically getting flat smacked just by by being in the wrong place at the right time to hear this information getting bandied about you think fantastic i can't wait for things like that to see and happen (laughs) marvelous if I can add to that, Nathan, there's, there's like you were just saying about having all these people around. It's it's an opportunity where, where like for instance, we went to Lemon Spa with you and Martin, and we we went to Cardiff, and you know we've done these different hangouts, you know, different uh, mixers, to actually have lots and lots of people all under one roof. I mean, Didi is you know you can you can explain in depth because you you were in America, but it's not just the, the convention. It's not just literally listening to people on stage or doing the Q and A or the workshop where it's the interaction in the breaks that is is a massive part and what i'm hoping and it's bound to happen and dd has confirmed this on america is there'll be a legacy from it because people like dd has now got over 100 friends that you didn't have before and and you you know you, you chat to them regularly and you know some more than others because obviously that's natural but it's more than just a convention so i, th- I just think it's going to add a lot of value to what we've got in the uk yeah, not only that, it's it's all the speakers you've been following for, for over a year on YouTube and you have them all in the same room. It's something that doesn't happen quite often. So it's a chance for everybody. Yeah. I, I also want to add, Nathan, that also the speakers who may not engage that much with each other have an opportunity over that we can. And you may find that new ideas spring from them to, you know, for instance, allegedly Dave and Darren Nesbitt may have a slight difference of opinion on something. They have a, a bit of a chat about it and all of a sudden they both go off in a slightly different direction off the base of, basis of the what they've discussed. So it's it can't I, I just can't see how it can do any harm. I really think it's got so much power to it. And and we are really driving hard, aren't we, to try and make sure it's the best event we can put on, but it's only as good as the speakers, only as good as the core team, and as good as the attendees. Yeah. Really. Yeah, we want everybody to come together. That's the goal. Just come together and learn from each other and help each other. 
Yeah, I think it's it's definitely, uh, from my perspective, I see it as an opportunity to collaborate with other people that are there. I mean, obviously, there's going to be people who attend that want to get their camera phones out and, and film what's happening and, and publish it to YouTube, which is wonderful. But like you say, a lot of the people that are there may not have had the chance to interact with other people who have a similar interest. And also, it may expand their horizons in terms of the things that they're looking at. Um, because you know, for some of the people, they might have been around a long time looking at flat Earth and don't know some of the faces that are out there and don't know some of the information that's currently being discussed. So it is a good opportunity for everybody who goes to get more out of it than just a few lectures, because that's not how it's going to be. It's going to be a lot more entertaining as a, as a whole event. You know, it's going to be all encompassing for the people who are there, and I think it's going to be equally enjoyable for all of the speakers. You know, for them to get to meet the general public and shake their hands as much as for the general public to meet the people that they been watching on youtube so yeah i'm i'm excited i'm going to run through it again mm. just so that it's a, a, a concise constant <laughs> plug for the uh, for the convention so i'll say it a few more times before we round out in a few minutes but uh, yeah on friday saturday and sunday the 27th 28th and 29th of april 2018 you will be invited warmly by clicking on the link and buying a ticket to the flat earth uk convention 2018 which will take place at the juries in on Broad Street, Birmingham, England. So be sure to hit the link in the info box or go to www.flatearthconventionuk.co.uk and buy yourself a ticket or at the very like, at the very least get yourself a webinar pass, which is only about 20 quid. So yes, hit the link. Is there anything else you guys want to add? Because I know there's uh, obviously a few of the bits you maybe want to go through about the convention, but I want to keep this quite short so it's a concise advert for the convention. Yeah, that's cool. That's fine. I have to get to the airport soon and it's been a very busy weekend. We've done a lot. We've talked to a lot of people and just keep an eye out on, on YouTube and the social media because there will be a couple of promotions coming up soon. And uh, we're looking very forward to the coming next week. It's going gonna, gonna to be busy but amazing. And for me, I just want to add that we are looking at, uh, if we get a chance in the next 10 minutes before we leave for the airport, we're going to uh, look at a few <coughs> other local hotels for um, to give options to people. Because, you know, the Joy's Inn, obviously, you know, if they know there's a convention happening, which they clearly do, all of a sudden the packages they offer seem to go up in price, which we don't like. Uh, we don't, Disney, yeah. And we and yeah, also yeah. apparently it's Disney on ice. And yesterday, Martin, <laughs> we were laughing that we're going to consider next year Flat Earth on ice. So we're thinking that Darren Nesbitt on skates. <laughs> Flat Earth on ice. <laughs> Dave and Martin, you know, going around knocking Leah's hard. Um, but what we're also doing is I've managed to negotiate with a local car park um, to get better prices because the, the hotel is £14.10 p a day, which is not good. So we've managed to do it where people who are coming up for the day or coming for the weekend but driving back home every day, they're going to get it for six pounds as opposed to having to be here for about nine pounds fifty. So we're looking to try and always add more value um, and, and save people money because it's, you know, we just we just care about the experience for everyone, uh, but as cost effectively as we can. Yeah, and the train station is only 10 minutes away, so we're looking into all the options. So everybody has something. They can... It would be more street station. Is that right? Sorry, sorry. Which train station? You said there's 10 minutes from the New, train station. New Street train station. New it's Street. eight minute walk. And obviously anyone coming to the airport can actually get the train from there. Or if anyone's coming in, uh, like we've got some people that came in from Coventry yesterday, they, they got the train and it's, it literally is an eight minute walk. So um, we, we're just thinking that obviously that means they don't have the parking issues and it's, it's a cheap way of getting into town. Yeah, we keep people updated on our social media. So on the Facebook or the Twitter and We'll try to add it on the website as well. All the information about accommodation and parking and everything you need to know, it's on the website and on social media. What's the name of the Facebook group or Facebook page? So there's obviously Facebook fans out there that will want to look on there rather than go to the website. But what's that called if they want to keep up to date with what's going on? It's just Flat Earth Convention UK. So uh, you will find it easily. And on Twitter, it's uh, FEC UK 2018. So. What happens, sure, yeah, what happens, Nathan, is when people actually sign up for a ticket, we then send them like an overview. <clears throat> yeah, we, we send them an overview and then we send them the link. They, they, they get in, like, invited. Because that way everyone that's on there are actually going either uh, in, in, in support of the, like the core team or it's actually the speakers or it's the attendees. So it means that they can engage with each other, reference the uh, convention. 
we have a public page as well with all the basic information and then we have a private page for uh, uh, attendees and, and uh, everybody from the team to get more details in private uh, as well. And you can always can... email us as well if you have questions, just email us at uh, info at flatearthconventionuk.co.uk. Info at flatearthconventionuk.co.uk if you want to email any questions it. or yeah. the Flat Earth Convention UK on Facebook again if you want to drop any questions to Gary or Dee Dee on there. Yeah. So I want to add one extra thing because this is something that you have kept in touch with me Gary about which is the, the value for money which is exceptional from the UK conference in terms of the pricing. It's very keenly priced. I don't think it's going to be a massive profit for you if a profit at all but that's a testament to you know your dedication to wanting to give good value for money on the opening um convention which is you know very noble and very kind of you for all the people who attend you know it's probably going to end up costing gary some money but ultimately speaking just to reassure people who are buying a ticket that it is a very 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 good value for money and things like gary going to the efforts of sort of finding out cheaper car parks and things he's obviously got your pocket in mind but uh just to know you will get exceptionally good value for money were you to buy a ticket and if you have done already is there anything else you guys want to get uh, add to maybe encourage people to buy some tickets or get a webinar pass get the webinar pass no, no the whole thing anything to add no, as as soon as other promotions will come out where you get to see the hotel and the venue and everything we're doing and our program is going to be more in detail soon, so tickets will go fast. So uh, we would recommend you, you join us and we'd love to see you all in April. And then hopefully the more people who get together, the better the event will be, I guess. So. And I think what I'd like to add is that the people who did turn up, there was about five or six yesterday, that when they saw the reception of the hotel, they went up to the convention room, they saw our bedroom because obviously this is what people are going to be having if they stay here. They were all impressed with what they saw and um, and the convention room itself, you know, even that wasn't laid out ready for it because obviously they're doing other things. We luckily had it, uh, about three hours worth of access yesterday to the room. We were, we were brainstorming. We were having interviews with Dorothy Darker, which is really kind of him to come down. Martin came up from Cardiff. <laughs> And that was fun, uh, and a few other people, and they were all impressed. And when, like Didi was saying, when the promotion comes out in about a week's time, it will not just be a convention that is just literally a, a word, words on on, on the screen. You can you can actually can see f f film footage and and like photographs of the events, and it actually then makes it more real. And the people yesterday um, they concurred with that. You can show them the room if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent stuff. I'm going to say one last time then, if you have not done so already, be sure to hit the link in the info box and get yourself a ticket or a web pass to the Flat Earth Convention 2018, which will take place at the Juries in in Birmingham on the 27th, 28th and 29th of April 2018. So a massive thank you to Gary and Didi for joining us on this short broadcast to promote that very event. Thank you very much for being here. And thanks Thank so much you. for having us, Nathan. Yeah. You've been very support, supportive of us, and um, it's been great. And it, hopefully, we'll see you there in a, um, a speaker capacity uh, reference to your uh, island uh, project with uh, Anthony, Chris, and uh, Ranty. Yeah, great so. job we did there. Wonderful. And yeah, and great job on organising the uh, convention. I can't wait. I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And with that, I'm going to say, first of all, a massive thank you to the live audience for joining us on this live broadcast. Be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. I've been Nathan Oakley and I'll see you all in the next video. Be sure to buy a ticket.